everyone, Cassidy here. Uh, wanted to take a little bit of time today to walk you through um, one option that we do have for breakout rooms in Google Meet. Uh, spent a little bit of time today exploring and figuring this out. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna need is to go to the Chrome extension store. And so you are gonna look for this purple Google Meet breakout room. Um, so again, to find this, you're gonna go to the Chrome extension store. We are going to search for break out groups or meet and it's right here, the purple one, and you're gonna click add to Chrome. I've already got it added. Um, so now I'm gonna open up the extension, and this is what you're gonna see when you first come into the extension for Meet Breakout Rooms. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to set up our course. So you can see that I have my English 12 course already set up. I'm gonna set up another example course here. Um, just for demonstration purposes. And I'm gonna save that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to rooms and you can see I've already got a few rooms created, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these off so I can show you how I did that. Um, so over here on this web browser, I'm gonna put in Google Meets. I'm going to go ahead and start or join a meeting. Now, if you already have a link created for a meeting that you want to use, you would just put that link in. Um, for today's purposes, I'm just going to show you with a new link. Um, so I'm going to take my Google Meet code from up here. And in my breakout rooms, I'm going to make sure that this is set to my correct um, Google Meets link, the URLs need to match. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna go back into Google Meets. And depending on how many breakout rooms you want, uh, you can create that, uh, that many. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create three at this point. So I'm gonna take this URL and I'm gonna bring back up my extension. I'm gonna hit the plus sign to add another room and I'm gonna put this as group A. And I'm gonna label that for that room. I'm gonna make sure I hit save after each one. Again, I'm gonna go in and create each of the links for my breakout room. So however many groups I need, that's how many um, meet tabs I need open. So then I'm going to open my extension up again and hit the plus sign. I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to label this as group B. And we're going to open um, Google Meets one more time. And we'll do a third one real quick. Now, I'm not naming these meetings as I go uh, because the Google breakout rooms will um, automatically name them for me once I get set up. So uh, again, I'm gonna hit the plus sign and we'll do group C. Now, however many breakout rooms that I create, again, you gotta make sure you're hitting save. <clears throat> when we go over to the Google Meet button, I'm gonna go ahead and I can close out of these. I don't need these open anymore. Those links stay good no matter what. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to the meets and I'm going to make sure that I'm signed in as Jeffco Schools with my name. I'm going to hit start class. I'm going to make sure I have my correct course um, on this one. You can see that in English 12, I have three breakouts created. I can then choose to open the main room. And you can see, again, because I labeled this as main in that other window that I'm getting a title here. I can also say, all right, I'm ready to go into breakouts. And now all of those different breakout rooms will open 
on my computer as well. And you can see group A, group B, um, all of that right there. So then you can also, once you have everything open to end it all, you just re-click and everything is now synced back into that main room. Um, one way that you can pre-assign um, the breakout rooms is by using the calendar feature in Google Calendar. So on Google Calendar, if you want to create pre-designated uh, pre breakout groups, you would go to Google Calendar and you would go ahead and create events. Uh, go ahead and put an event on your calendar. And then if you want to prearrange breakout rooms, you're going to put join with Google Meet. Uh, you're going to make sure that that link is activated to have a Google Meet code because then you can have your Meet code to put in directly to um, the rooms. You could then use this Meet code as since it's already uh, automatically generated. And then you could add guests. So you could add your individual students and invite them to be a part of that breakout room. Then inside um, Google Breakout Rooms, you can use the um, ad hoc here to go ahead and break them up as well. So that is a couple of different ways. Oh, I did want to show you when we go to assign breakout rooms, um, you can choose, and because I'm the only one in here right now, um, you can do the pre-assigned one or you can do random ones and you can choose, uh, let's say you know two kids don't go, don't work well in a group together. And if you see that they're randomly assigned together, you can pull one of them back out of the group and assign them to a different group. So, but because I'm the only one in my meeting right now, I can't show you that feature. Um, but it is a really neat little feature for Google Meet uh, for assigning breakout rooms. So if you have any questions or need any more support on how to get the setup to use in your classroom, please reach out to me. I am happy to help you. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.